welcome to this week's edition of the Butler Beat. I'm Kyle Weir. Butler is looking for its next president, and some students are feeling a little left out of the search process. Olivia Engel has more on this story. The clock is ticking. Dr. Bobby Fong is leaving, and Butler's presidential search committee is searching for his replacement. Who will be the next university president? The search committee, consisting of trustee, faculty, and student representatives, is working to find the answer. The Search Progress website hasn't been updated in more than a month, and committee chair James White has failed to respond to numerous emails. Many students are in the dark. I really think that students obviously should have an influence at least, just because it's going to affect us one way or another, and so we should definitely know about it. Uh, I have no clue about anything. I think it's important for students to know what's going on. It's kind of like it's kind of like being in your country but not knowing what's going on like with the presidency and everything there. I don't know. It just kind of seems pointless to not know. The committee is currently in the recruiting phase. Four more phases are required before a final decision is made. Again, the clock is ticking. Olivia Engel, The Butler Beat. Campus changes could be on the horizon for next fall. In response to burgeoning enrollment figures, the university has reconvened CURL, the Commission on Undergraduate Residential Life. CURL is comprised of 16 administrators, faculty, and students involved in residence life. CURL member Carla Cunningham says mixed representation is a plus. You do hear that input from, you know, more than just one group of people that, um, you know, a commission with Representatives say CURL's job is to assess the state of residence life, dining services, and soft spaces like the lounges at C-Club. CURL Chairman Levester Johnson says dining space additions may be on the way. We did have an increase of uh, new students coming in this past year. We felt that uh, tightness within the, uh, specifically the Atherton cafeteria and the Resco cafeteria. So we believe we might have need for additional um, space uh, within those facilities. Johnson says students should look for a report to be released in May. More than 98% of Butler Pharmacy students passed the North American Pharmacy Licensure Exam on their first attempt. The Associate Dean of the College, Bruce Clayton, speaks more on the accomplishment. Of our student performance, we rank 8th in the nation out of 101 schools that were in the survey. We're the only pharmacy program in the private pharmacy program in the top 10, and only one of three pharmacy programs in the top 20 uh, in terms of first-time pass rates. The NAPLEX is a 185-question online exam that tests a prospective pharmacist's ability to practice. Each state's eligibility requirements differ. PGY2 Academia resident and adjunct professor Adri Andrea Bishop speaks on the benefits of the program and what's to come. All the hard work is really going to lead to a career with, that offers a lot of opportunities through a The NAPLEX can be retaken and cost $485. With spring break upon us, SGA has found a way to solve a major problem for many students. Starting this year, the SGA will fund a free shuttle to and from the Indianapolis airport for spring break. VP of Operations Katie Saransky says it was a common issue they thought they could solve. I know a lot of students have always struggled with finding rides and not, whatnot, and a lot of people don't want to leave their cars at the airport because it costs another $50 or whatever. The shuttle will pick up students today and tomorrow at varying times. It will also bring students back to campus from the airport Saturday the 19th and Sunday the 20th. Students need to be ready at the shuttle stop in front of Atherton 15 minutes before their pickup time. Some students say it doesn't completely solve the problem, but is a step in the right direction. Then I looked at the times that were available, and none of them are times when I have to go to the airport. So that was a bit of a bummer. But I do hope that they keep this free airport shuttle thing going on um, for other breaks and whatnot. Saransky says SGA plans to continue the shuttle service not just for spring break, but for all major breaks in the future. March is Disabilities Awareness Month, and Butler's Best Buddies chapter is campaigning for friendship and equal treatment for those with disabilities. Best Buddies president, Graham Killian, talks about this national campaign. The Spread the Word to End the Word campaign is really all about spreading awareness and educating people. 
Um, we're trying to spread awareness about the hurtful and dehumanizing effects of the word retard or retarded um, as it's used and thrown around in everyday speech. So now the um, accepted term is intellectual disability. To pledge, you can visit the campaign's website at therword.org. You can also stop by the Best Buddies table in Starbucks and pledge throughout the month of March. Be sure to stay tuned after the break to hear all about Butler's men's basketball team run to the Horizon League tournament.